Ahoy. Hey, everyone. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Shoot. Awesome. We'll give this a sec for people to join and then we will dive in. Welcome to our open source planning. And we've been doing a lot of open source planning specifically, but this is kind of more getting towards like general updates as a whole. So we'll probably transition this to some kind of weekly hangout, weekly updates, do some play testing, do some live streaming of updates, things like that. Welcome, Gordo. Hello. How's it going? Good. Good, good. How are you? Good, good. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just happy some of those issues are solved this week. My gosh. We had a prod fire this week and a few others. Yeah, that's a good thing to kick this off with. Um, first of all, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, what was the high level that happened there, Gordo? Um, some DNS entries were updated about four weeks ago, uh, maybe three, two weeks ago. Um, and on the back end, we have a server manager and the server manager filled up with instances and wasn't shutting them down. Uh, but it put all of the uh, servers in an unrecoverable state because it couldn't communicate with the scaler. So the only fix was to redeploy all of the servers. So I deleted them all um fix the dns issue for the scaler to say hey you're allowed requests from this address and everything was fine uh we've not seen the issue in over well since 6 p.m yesterday cool. and it's now 4 p.m for me so awesome. um yeah for about 10 hours uh well no uh 22 hours Perfect. so that's done with hopefully so we shouldn't see as many problems on prod um I would still expect to see things like a space issue, space issue every so often, but that's not as that's not a hard thing to solve, and that usually only happens on one node, not the entire back end. Cool. Yep. Um, yep. So good. anyway, we're okay now. Yeah. So let's see how it goes for the next week. Uh, to be fair, we haven't had actual downtime before like this much, um, so we're doing pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Thanks for tackling that. Yeah. Um, no cool. worries. Good stuff. And so a uh, quick other things too, if you've been in the open source chats, we've gotten a lot of discussion around some more documentation. So we're actively working on that. Uh, we have some more Firebase documentation coming in. So if you've done a lot of game development, uh, you may not be familiar with the web development side as much like Firebase, for example. So again, some nice screenshots in there and some more to come here, but um, rightly so some of our friends working on the open source side have been requesting more documentation. So. That is incoming. Be sure to check out our docs and we'll send out some more information too whenever that's fully up. Uh, as far as some recent PRs, um, we have been, so yeah, Gordon fixed a lot of the prod issues that we had as far as the servers getting wrecked. So that's good to have that back there. Um, high level we've been working on as a whole is the side. If you go to pull requests and go to our milestones, this is the public stuff that um, we are releasing and focusing on. We we're originally just doing the project-based stuff, but uh, right now we're trying to keep it pretty simple just because we know what we are working on next. Uh, so Gordo has been working on the MetaQuest. And so with that, that's an Android deployment too. Um, so that could also have some more good stuff in the future. How's that going over there, Gordo? Um, I have the Android template, uh, since we had like multiple prod fires, I've not had much time since, uh, the day before yesterday to work on it. Um, so it's going fine. Uh, the headset itself, I need to still deploy to, and I still need to fix the Gradle issues. So I'm going to be looking at that today. Um, and provided I don't get any, you know, further distractions, we should get that done, uh, today slash tomorrow. Awesome. Awesome. So we should we should have like a build of some description on Android. Whether it works is a different matter. You know, there'll be a phase of fixing bugs and I would imagine that would go into like next week. But um we should be through most bugs by next week as well for the um 
the actual running of the app on the headset. We do need to consider like maybe making a mode for the UI to render, but I suspect that we should start simple yeah. and just allow people to join spaces through the headset for now. Um, and later we'll expand the UI to allow use of it because allowing use of it, we'd have to render it to a plane in the world, which Godot does make pretty easily. Sorry, easy. Um, it's just that I have to make sure it worked for the normal game as well. So, mm. yeah. Cool. That's great. Sounds good. And uh, one more thing on the update side is we pushed out Infinity last week. So um, we've been uh, saying for some time, hey, we'll get oops, we'll get this more regularly scheduled out. And that is actually there. So hopefully <laughs> um, well, we're aiming to keep that much more consistent, kind of keeping like the the pipes clean per se for pushing stuff out, pushing that through like the motorcycle maintenance analogy where it actually the best way to maintain it is just to simply keep on using it. So we're going to make sure we stick with our reg regular release schedule. So infinity is now out that has uh, some very nice updates. Uh, some that uh, we push on the GD script side. So like at export vars, um, improving tweening, stability upgrades. So that's there. Be sure to update itch. And also one other thing is, we are starting to onboard people for our marketplace. And so uh, check out this link. I'll put this in the chat right now. If you'd like to sell stuff, uh, we are onboarding some of our initial users for that. We'd love to just chat a bit, see what you um, want to upload and get some feedback on how it works. And then we will go from there. So I'd love for you to hop in. I think that's a lot of stuff on a high level. Gordon, you think anything else we should cover? Um, yeah, we did an engine update. Uh, oh, the yeah. engine update appears to be unstable. Um, the plan currently is to revert it, but we will check with our users to see if the latest build that they've got is working. Um, I might try to rerun the builds and just see if it was a corrupt build, but I won't spend much time debugging it. Um, the engine is fairly beta. Um, for the version that was merged into the repository. So I don't really want to use that until it goes to stable. Um, there was just, there was a few really annoying bugs that caused Linux to just crash. Um, <clears throat> and on a side note, um, the new engine is looking really good when it doesn't crash, uh, like weapons firing is much more smooth. There's no shader compilation lag, really. There's like 0.4 of a second delay. Um, whereas before, you know, you were looking at five seconds when you first fired a weapon in space, um, which was really bad, really jarring. Um, and that's now fixed in the latest engine. So I was a little bit inclined to try and fix the problem. Um, but I'm actually leaving the engine just like this week. I won't be touching the revert for the engine, uh, mainly because I need to focus on getting the headset done. Uh, and if I revert the engine, I'll do it next week. Uh, so it'll just mean that the sub module goes back to the old version and uh, some links get updated. We haven't really updated many scene files, so it shouldn't be much of a problem. Um, we'll see though. Yeah, yeah. Cool. cool. Sounds like a plan. And yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting the headset done so we can move on to the next task. Yeah. Um, yeah. What is the next task? Um, good question. I don't, I mean, there's a few things that are not off the top of my head. Um, optimizations and join time keep on irking me a bit, which I think would be good to keep on focusing on. Um, I've been having some, we've been having a few crashes. I really like to mop up. Yeah. Um, yeah. like not just the, the, the new version of the engine, the old one too. Um, some users were reporting crashes and bugs. I'd like to spend a few days just fixing those, um, yeah. if possible uh just to keep them happy because there have been a few that we haven't been able to spend time on yeah yeah definitely oh, um maybe, yeah. maybe we bugs, finish this sure. milestone and then iterate a little bit of bugs and then a little bit of feature again cool cool Sounds something like, like that so. awesome well thanks everyone appreciate y'all joining we will be here next week with more updates and got some good stuff in store so yeah thanks for joining Hope y'all have a good one. Oh, I see someone's typing. I like the the cat profile pic we got here. With the beanie.
Nope, nothing. All good. All right. Thanks, everyone. See you. Bye.